Ito ang Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang naiba at kakaibang plataforma sa digital broadcast. Mula Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao hanggang sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang sandiga ng sambayanan mula sa walang labis at walang kulang na pagbabalita, paglilingkod, maglalahad ng mga mapagbuong komentaryo at usaping pambayan para sa kapakanan ng karamihan. Broad Streamcast Communicators, tuwirang maglilingkod ngayon hanggang sa susunod na henerasyon. Buhay Online Sikahan at kaalamang pangkabuhayan. Ating tunghayan, pakinggan at tuklasin ang mga pangyayari at kaganapan sa mundo ng online. Buhay online, sikahan at kaalamang pangkabuhayan. Alamin ang pinakalatest trends mula sa trabaho at kung hanggang sa anak ang narating ng teknolohiyang ito. At ngayon, narito na ang ating host, ang ating Teki Mami, si J.C. Bautista. Hello, hello everyone. Happy Friday, sabi nga namin sa America. TGIF, thank God it's Friday. But of course, we thank God for each and every day, not just on a Friday, di ba? Uh, every day na nat- tayo nagigising sa bagong umaga, should be thankful. We should be thankful for that. And... Uh, Happy, happy Friday, of course. This is the thir- the last day of our segment on uh, online tutoring. And of course, we've talked about how to become an online tutor or how to set up an online tutor business. Uh, pinag-usapan po natin yan this whole week. Uh, and uh, hindi ko pa rin nakompleto yung mga listahan ng mga online uh, tutoring websites that we can belong to or we can apply for or to, to put our profiles there. Pero papasadahan natin po ng, uh, ng mabilis ang lahat ng pinag-usapan natin sa, sa week na ito. Uh, I, I hope you guys can see me because I'm looking at my, my monitor here. Uh, wala akong video sa, dito sa aking uh, desktop, I mean laptop. But I can see on my phone that I'm there naman. So uh, I hope I'm broadcasting fine. Please Um, ano lang please uh, paki-post to tell me that I am being heard at saka nakikita niyo ako. But anyway, let's uh, talking about um, uh, online work, uh, online tutoring, okay? Uh, today kasi no, we there are many opportunities for online tutors whether you're a retired teacher or an active teacher, a stay-at-home parent, a student or teen with knowledge for a specific subject or a specific expertise, di ba? Uh, sinabi natin, ang online tutoring is very lucrative, especially ngayon sa panahon ng pandemya. Ang dami-dami ngayon courses that are offered online, ang dami-daming uh, training that are given online. Uh, kasi um, uh, hindi, and, and hindi kinakailangan na may PhD or degree. Uh, as like I said, experience is the the best teacher dito sa gantong online tutoring, right? And of course, it doesn't also just have to be uh, teaching academic subjects. It could be any expertise nga, like I said. Uh, there are many, many uh, online tutoring opportunities that are available nowadays online. Kasi yun nga rin eh. It, it also stems back to the mga tutorials na pinapanood natin sa YouTube wherein kahit hindi ka pag graduate basta meron ka kaalaman even teenagers nga eh, that kunyari how to to wear daytime makeup or how to apply daytime makeup meron ngayon mga ganyan tutorials that we are avail- that are available online okay so kaya nga so why should you become an online tutor well because tutoring online is a great job to have especially nowadays when when social distancing is um is um requested or required or advised to do face to face um meetings face to face teaching in like sa Pilipinas ang education online 
tsaka modules. Uh, it's important because this is something that you can do on your spare time from home or anywhere as long as you have a PC, a laptop, or any access to the internet, pwede kang mag-online mag tutor. In most situations, actually, you can pick your hours. It is a flexible job to have, right? Uh, and, and, and it's something that can suit your schedule. Uh, ikaw ang sarili mong boss sa gantong klaseng trabaho, right? Maganda, di ba? Kasi flexible. Good morning, Delia Tenorio Bal Balmore Balmores. Uh, thank you, thank you, salamat, well, salamat naman at uh, you think that my program is useful and helpful. And this is the reason why I'm doing this, of course, para sa karagdagang kaalaman and of course to share what I know and also share my expertise and knowledge with everybody. Uh, ayan pong ating um, um, goal, no? At makapag, makapagbigay ng, ng information sa lahat. And thank you for, for watching from Dublin, Ireland, Miss Delia Tenoria Valmores. Thank you very much and welcome to the show. So um, so we were saying that bakit lucrative ang online tutoring? Yun nga, for those reasons, especially flexible ngayon, you can customize your, your lessons or courses. Uh, and ayun nga, ang fields of expertise ng online tutoring iba-iba. Hindi lang talaga yung mga kagaya ng araw na kumukuha tayo ng tutor para sa mga anak natin to teach them subjects to uh, help them get better or uh, perform better or doon sa mga subjects na yun. Kasi nga, online tutoring could be, is a diverse field nowadays. You can teach Zumba, you can teach uh, yoga, you can teach CrossFit training, you can teach yun nga, academic subjects, you can do life coaching online. So, it the, the possibilities are endless, okay? But how does online tutoring work? Simple, di ba? Only online tutors help students in certain subjects or certain areas or certain topics, right? Uh, more than one subject, uh, you can teach more than one thing if you know how to do it well, right? Uh, Siyempre, ang kailangan dyan is may platform to do it. Uh, you, you are, you, you'll be interacting with students via webcam using Skype, or Zoom, or by phone, right? And nowadays, even the social media uh, platforms can be used like like Messenger, or or uh, Viber, or WhatsApp. Uh, basta meron na kasi ngayon almost lahat ng video call capacity, right? Pero more importantly kasi, lalo na pag dun sa mga academic subjects and, and such, ang kailangan, meron kang share your screen uh, uh, capability. Which is yun na nga, yung sinabi ko kahapon, yung when I was talking about online tutoring versus face-to-face -face tutors, yun yung mga subject matters. Kailangan yun naman talaga yung platform na merong share screen like Zoom and Skype, right? So, you may also find online tutoring positions that allow you to offer instructions or lessons to a group of students online. Hindi lang isa one-on-one. -on -one. It could be two or a group, you know, a group learning na yun, right? Others may interact kasi with their students online while tutoring in a variety of ways using iba-ibang tools, okay? Most online tutors choose to work through various different online tutoring companies. Yun ang nga yung pinag-usapan natin. Kung ayaw mo nang, or hindi ka masyadong tech savvy, or ayaw mo mag-bother nang mag-iisip ng courses or ng lesson plan, then you can belong to uh, these mga website, uh, online tutoring websites. Like these ones that I said, yan, di ba? I, one by one, pinag-usapan natin itong mga companies na ito. Chegg, Club Z Tutoring, E-Tutor World, Learn to Be, Preply, Princeton Review, Schooly, Smart Thinking. Why is that? Okay, these are some of the companies that you can register or join as an online tutor. But of course, the, the, some most of these companies or or online tutor websites will will not ask you to pay for a registration fee pero they'll get a commission from you which is only fair because hindi ka na mamamablema maghanap ng estudyante meron na silang network or a stream of uh, students kailangan mo na lang magturo and of course get paid for it pero meron silang kukunin na commission na ano naman di disclose naman nila yan sa iyo eh. okay depende it varies from between 15 to 25% commission okay so these are the companies right 
So, going over the companies, mamaya, masadahan natin ulit yung mga companies na yan when we have time, alright? But these are some of the companies that you can belong to, alright? And be a part of. Okay? Tapos ano pa yung sinabi natin, no? Uh, what are the requirements to work as an online tutor? Okay, ripaso ulit. Hello, good morning, Jenny Alimokon Soldwela. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're wrapping up our, our, our episode on online tutoring and giving uh, repasso on what are the requirements and what does it require to be an online tutor. Okay? Um, sana, uh, sana maging ano to sa marami because talaga ang marami na wala ng trabaho but, but this pandemic situation also allowed us to re-examine and know our capabilities even more. At ang pag-online tutoring nga is talaga open to everybody, whether you're a retired teacher or not, basta as long as you have a specific uh, class or a lesson or, or specialization to share and teach, right? Okay, so how much ang in-earn ng mga online tutors? Depende, depende talaga. Uh, kasi how, uh, how much an online tutor can earn depends on many factors, right? If you're working for a company, your pay can be very greatly based on your knowledge and expertise, of course, the company you work with, and more. The pay for elementary level subjects will be less than college level subjects, okay? If you work more hours tutoring each week, of course, you will earn more. Yun nga, eh, like, yun, diba? Ako, like I said, I mentioned it several times na more than ever. Actually, before the pandemic, I was already busy. But I'm actually busier now because most of the work that I do is online, right? Sabi ko nga, yung capacity ko to earn depends on how much work I can handle. Ganon din sa pag-online tutoring, no? Kasi may mga ibang mga platforms or schools na open 24-7. 24 hours a day. So, kung, kunyari, ang pipiliin mong path na online tutoring is to teach English or whatever subject. Kung ang masalihan mong company is on, nga, on seven days a week, uh, uh, 24 hours a day, de, yun din ang capacity mo to earn, di ba? So, uh, depende na rin sa'yo kung gano'n ka, ka, ano, mo, ka, ano ang time mo to, to a lot to online tutoring. So, the earnings and the capacity to earn it, it depends, alright? So, and, uh, tsaka yung mga rates, depende rin yan sa sa expertise mo. Hello, Jake! Happy Friday to you, Jake! Thank you! Laundry day mo ngayon? <laughs> Talaga ang labada day mo, Friday? Hmm. Very good. <laughs> Take it easy, Jake, okay? Wala, wala, wala kang school kanina, but thank you. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Uh, also, okay, kunyari, if you're an expert in a specific subject, okay, uh, at saka meron ka namang enough training in a particular subject. Okay? The agencies or the platform or the schools that you will join will pay you more for tutoring that subject kasi ikaw ang expert dun eh, right? Iba-iba nga eh. Iba-iba itong mga agencies na companies that I mentioned. Iba-iba yung rates. So, so, so depende na sa experience mo at saka sa galing mo yung, yung rate mo na pwedeng i-charge, right? Pero namang meron mga ibang platforms or schools, meron silang set rate for everybody, regardless of whether you're, uh, uh, you have a PhD or not. Kung kunyari man, tuturo ka ng English online, pare-parehang rates nun. But it, it gets elevated naman, or nagkakaroon naman ng mga pay raises, depending on performance, right? At saka may incentives, okay? So, if the agencies do not pay directly to their online tutors, then you can set higher fees for your specialization in any subject that you want to tutor, okay? The most in-demand subjects students need help with are math, okay, English, science, social studies, and TOEFL. Tsaka yung mga pagpapasa sa test, mga Aiken, mga when they, they're trying to pass the exams, the English exams, yan, kailangan nila ng tutoring, right? Of course, okay? Uh, there are 15, uh, no, no, there are legitimate sites that offer online tutoring jobs, okay? And we will go through that. Sige na ngayon na natin, uh, let's go through some of them right now, okay? Uh, because, um, kasi wala na tayo, this is our last day to talk about this, right? Although, of course, you can still field in questions that I can answer in the program, kahit na iba na ang subject matter, basta kailangan, right? Okay, so, uh, how to become an online tutor and start tutoring? 
Okay, take a na 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 tala. Yung companies. <laughs> Tina, they all want to know about the companies that are okay. All right. Uh, I'll mention some companies. Ito, ito yung sa sa America ang most of this because this is the online tutoring is not just in the Philippines. Of course, this is an international job that somebody can get because your the world nga is your oyster. Like I always say, at ang 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 inyong um, client base is the world. So it doesn't confine yourself lang to Filipino na mga estudyante or Filipino jo- Philippine jobs because this is global, right? So ito, ito yung mga, these are some of the best online tutoring uh, companies, okay, na legit that you can belong to, okay? Because there are many legitimate websites which employ tutors to teach different subjects or different languages or just native English, okay? I'm gonna give you some of these companies, okay? Sa America, merong Education First, EF, Education Education First ang tawag. This U.S.-based online teaching company has been successfully recruiting English teachers. As long as you have experience in teaching, okay, a TF, TEFL certification, and a bachelor's degree, you can apply to teach with this company, okay? This hire, they hire teachers from the U.S. and the U.K. and pay up to $20 per hour, okay? Yan ang EF or Education First, okay? Okay, and Course Hero, ito, itong company na to called Course Hero. Kung kayo ay mahilig magturo and helping students, then Course Hero is the best choice. You can answer questions, create videos, guides, teach live with Course Hero. You don't need ito, ha? no previous experience or qualifications, but being a subject matter expert in your area is a must. Pero yan, walang qualifications, walang certifications. Top tutors earn around, imagine, $500 per week Ay, with a flexible schedule. How much is that in pesos? Uh, oy, ano ba yan? $25,000? $20,000 a week? Hindi na masama, right? So, yan, Course Hero. Check it out, okay? No need for experience or qualifications, but be a, uh, uh, no, previous experience to teaching is not a must, but experience in your field is a must of course okay all right so ang uh, ano pa q kids okay ang q kids is is a, an esl tutoring company or english as a second language tutoring company that hires online tutors to teach simple english ayan madali ang ang lessons dito you know madali ang lessons dito and um Uh, and um, uh, anong qualifications? Hold on. Uh, nawala tuloy ako sa sinasabi ko. <laughs> ano ang qualifications sa Q-Kids? Ang Q-Kids, uh, you, you have to have a bachelor's degree or studying towards, or working towards finishing a degree. Okay? The pay is between, between $16 to $20 per hour. Good choice if you want flexible hours, right? And a great Pay, pay rate. Good na rin yan. Okay? Not bad. $20 an hour, like $500 pesos per hour. Okay? Ang Brain Fuse. Brain Fuse. Brain, tsaka Fuse, F-U-S-E, Brain. Brain Fuse naman is an online tutoring company that pays to tutors $10 an hour to teach students. You have to apply. If you're selected, then you'll hear back from them. You need to have a bachelor's degree to be eligible to teach. Ayun lang ang requirement, bachelor's degree. Okay? Ano pang company? Nice Talk. As in, as in, Nice Talk. This is another tutoring app which is exclusive to teach Chinese students. Okay? Mga Chinese students, conversational English ang tinuturo. Alright? The pay is $10 an hour or $480 or to $500 pesos an hour which is not bad. And you need to speak in ang kailangan lang you need to speak English fluently, all right, to be able to teach this on this app. There is no set curriculum to teach. So look, in, look into this. Nice talk. All right. Ito, popular talk, Cambly. I belong to Cambly, actually. Cambly is an online website hiring language jobs for teachers, for them to teach any language, Spanish, um, English. Uh, okay. No experience is, requ- is required. 
ang, ang bayad dito sa Cambly is 17 cents per minute or roughly $10.20 per hour. Okay? Ito ha, you can apply from anywhere in the world. There's no country restriction to Cambly. So kung uh, type nyo yan, magturo ng language, join Cambly. C-A-M-B-L-Y, Cambly. Alright? Ano pa? Ano pang company? I talk I. Okay? Another language teaching resource which hires tutors from all over the world. Okay? Kaya mag ang kagandahan talaga ng online tutoring is you know, uh, maraming walang restrictions na country basta marunong ka magturo na English, okay? Or magbasa ng materials in English pwede na yan. So I talk I pays in I talk I credits for uh 10 10 I talk I credits is equal to one dollar, right? So you can get more teaching sessions if you have a good experience, okay? So look into that. I talk I. Ano pa? Mingle. Mingle that is spelled with a Y instead of an I. Mingle. M Y N G L E. Okay? Ang Mingle is an online language teaching inter interface for teachers and students, okay? Una una, you have to pass the selection and training processes. To qualify for tutoring, lessons will be given through Mingle or virtual classrooms, okay? So, yan. Look into that. Ano pa? Yung mga uh, popular is Schooly. Yan, oh, Schooly. Right, Schooly. S-K-O-O-L-I. Popular itong Schooly. Magandang reputation niya. Kasi Schooly is an online teaching resource for more diverse areas. Hindi lang isang subject. Math, biology, economics, and English tinuturo sa schooly. So kung ikaw may expertise dyan or magaling ka na, or teacher ka na, math teacher, biology, economics, of course English, join schooly. You have to register, okay? Complete your profile and indicate your availability, okay? The pay is not mentioned sa website. Eh. As stated on the site, the requirement to apply is having a bachelor's degree and teaching certification. Ayan, dito... Medyo stiff ang requirement. Siguro sana mahal ang bayad. <laughs> anyway, what else? Okay? Yung Preply. Yan, ito na naman. Na-mention na ko na ito na isang araw. Ulitin natin. Ang Preply kasi. Okay? With Preply, ito, Preply, nito sa nasa listahan ko itong Preply. Nakikita nyo, right? Ang Preply, you can sign up as a tutor even if you are not, okay? Listen. If, even if you are not a certified teacher, Okay? The teaching subjects range from university subjects to arts and hobbies. Sa preply, you need to sign up online with details about your experience and available timings. Okay, the more flexible timings and more stu and more student reviews you have, the more money you earn. So, so a good reputation will 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 give value to you. So, sa at saka pag ina nga pag pinakita mong marami kang pwedeng ialat na time na flexible ka, tsaka good reviews, ayan, mas marami kang money ma-earn sa preply. So, ulitin to that, okay? So, ano, so, ulitin natin ngayon, ano-ano ang requirements for online jobs, okay? Let's just say that hindi lahat ng tutoring jobs, diba, require you to have a degree or certification. Yan ang kagandahan, right? Basta ka, magaling ka magturo, meron kang kaalaman or meron kang something to share the knowledge you know you can be an online tutor okay okay not not all tutoring jobs require a degree or certification but of course like in anything it it can increase your chances of getting a job if you have certifications or of course a, de a degree a bachelor's degree or even masters right especially if you're teaching academic subjects. If you're teaching more specific subjects, then having certifications obviously is a plus, okay? Uh, at prior experience, syempre. Through it all, ang pinaka, ano dyan, key is experience. It will help you land a job. Mas madali kang makakakuha ng, ng online jobs. Of course, pag, pag ang resume mo will speak for itself is experience mo, right? Okay. Of course, having a stable internet is number one. Connection. You have to have a laptop and a webcam, okay? And headphones. 
a noise cancellation, a noise canceling one for that matter. Okay, it is necessary for all online teaching jobs to have, of course, a stable internet connection. Some there are some apps or or uh, teaching apps that, that you can download and and pwede ka magturo pero may medyo mahirap pag sa smartphone. Tablet medyo okay pa kasi malaki laking screen. Okay, pero ang number one requirement, of course. Is internet a stable internet connection, a laptop or a desktop, and a webcam? Because you need to see face face to face, not face to face, but virtually face to face. Okay, very good. Okay, online. Let's let's face it, especially in this pandemic situation of the virus uh, era. Okay, um, online teaching jobs are best options to do when you are when you want to start working from home or if you are already w presently working from home okay if this is your first step into work from home kung ito ang you know if you want to embark on this for the first time uh and work in the sa mundo ng pagtatrabaho from the house going for online teaching jobs is the best way to get started right market because online job i mean online teaching jobs is easy, flexible, and let's and let's face it, it can pay really well, right? I mean, tapos pa makakasip ka kasi hindi ka nakailang magcommute or magdrive pa puntan trabaho na ng gas na gastos. Yun lang talaga ang investan mo is a good internet, right? Uh, a good good connection so that you can have repeat students. Or kasi nga na may inis talaga naman yung ibaren pagka nag online ka tapos ang gamit mo data sa phone mo na pugak pugak yung connection mo, right? So invest. You have to invest in good internet, stable internet, okay? And of course, good hardware or software to use, which is like your laptop, desktop, or your gadget that you're gonna use for as you're teaching um, uh, um, equipment, okay? And of course, yun nga yung platforms that you belong to or software, meaning the tools that you need to work with when you're teaching. Yun nga, pag nagtuturo ka ng one-on-one, -on -one, nowadays, diba, there's uh, some some things that you have to to have, which is the platform where to teach, whether it's Zoom or, or Skype, right? Or yun nga, if you join those online tutoring websites, sila na yung may ganong platform. Hindi ka na kailangan mag-invest or gumastos para to have your own platform, Okay. Okay, all right. So, uh, what else do we uh, did we talk about? Okay, we, we we already mentioned this legit site. You want to know? Okay, um, because like I said, okay, you don't need a teaching degree or any specialized training to be a tutor. Okay. What you do need, of course, again, is the knowledge of the subject matter and the ability to explain it in a way that others can learn from you, diba? Be a good one. Pero sabi ko isang araw, if you're going to be an online tutor, be a darn good one because your 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 reputation that you build online will speak for you and be adyan ka magsumikat ka dyan because or or because of your success rate, saka yung mga repeat repeat students, dumami, yan, mas marami ka pang trabaho ma magiging at ma-earn, right? Okay, so, uh, what you need, of course, is ex experience and knowledge of the subject matter and the course that you want to teach. Pero, please, be a good one, right? Tutoring can be done anywhere. It's really flexible. It can be done at the client's home, at the tutor's home, or in another location, such as ng araw, Pwede sa library, sa cafe, pero because nga nasa pandemic tayo, most of this tutoring online is done in 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 the student and teacher's homes virtually, right? The, the internet has made it possible to tutor online using video conferencing tools. So uh, you can tutor your clients who live outside your location from the comforts of their own home. Lahat tayo from the home. So yeah, it's, it's a, of course, it's a good idea na malaman natin ang mga pros and cons of becoming a tutor before embarking on this career. Okay? Sige. So, pag-usapan natin ang pros and cons, right? Pag-usapan natin ang pros and cons on, on being uh, an online teacher. Ano ba yun? Meron ba? 
meron bang pros and cons? Meron naman talaga. So, let's, let's look at it. Okay? Let me just bring it up. I have it here. Ta-da! Okay, all right. Ang pros and cons ng online tutoring. Ang pros, okay? Siyempre, ang, ob ang pinaka-obvious na pro is when you do online tutoring, you are helping students achieve a goal and that can be gratifying. Of course, uh, pag academic uh, subjects, you know, it's helping students with, with the uh, subjects that they're having a problem with. They're, they're helping them uh, learn it better, okay? Pag expertise naman or whatever, yun na nga yung goal, yung health and wellness. Pag mga Zumba instructor ka or, or fitness trainer, okay, you're helping your clients, of course, achieve their objective of, of being fit, to be healthy, right? And of course, yun na nga, pag online ESL teacher ka, it's helping your student achieve their objective of speaking better English or learning English as a second language. Ano pa ang pros? It is the upfront uh, gratification then and the, the review and feedbacks are, are instantaneous, diba? real time. Eh. Malalaman mo ka agad ang, ang effect ng pagtuturo mo. Okay? Tapos, to, uh, if you're going to embark on an online tutoring business, um, uh, ang upfront cost niya are small, di ba? Kasi nga, the, uh, uh, kasi nga uh, ang kailangan mo ng invest in, yun nga, yung hardware at software, hindi masyadong big investment as in setting up a restaurant or putting up a company, right? Yun pa, your hours are flexible, right? Yun ang maganda. Hours are flexible and in and, and that connection, yun nga, yung ability mo to earn Capacity mo to earn depends on how much work you can handle or you can fit in your schedule, right? Diba? Uh, ano pa? Yung mga existing teachers na nagtuturo rin online or something, it could be supplemental income for a lot of people, okay? It can supplement your existing business. It can supplement your existing source of income. It's ad added income. Or, if, you, if of course, it's if it's full-time, it's your source of income na pwede mong maging big source of income, okay? Ano pa? It can help, okay, create, it's created opportunities for growth and expansion, totoo naman. Because, nakakat, mapap, madadiversify pa yung pagtuturo mo eh. It can uh, evolve into other opportunities, okay? For business and also, of course, online uh, work and opportunities na mga jobs. You can see, we can, it can open doors. Okay? Sige, punta naman tayo sa, <clears throat> sa cons, okay? Uh, it's working around student schedules can mean nights and weekends. At yun nga, kasi syempre, yung mga talagang nag-aaral, even though it's virtual schooling, meron pa rin schedule yon. So, ang pag-online tutoring mo, or yung, uh, ang added, yung anilang added knowledge na gustong makuha, will be after office hours na and after school hours, which means nga late nights or weekends. Yun nga, pero as it is right now, ako yung mga tinuturuan ko, yung mga clients ko are all, are all over the world. Meaning, so, iba-iba talaga rin yung oras. So, ako yung ina-apportion ko na yung oras ko sa umaga, right, to teach um, uh, people from America or, of course, uh, latter, most part of my day para sa Asia rin, Basta pagbalik balik tayo hours. Basta pag madaling araw na, pag hindi ako makatulog din and kailang, and uh, you know, sometimes I teach uh, in the wee hours of the morning kasi yung mga taga-America naman, buhay na, right? Yun ang mga studyante ko pag ganang oras. Hello there, Tita Agnes Laka. Finally made it back to the show. She's been having a problem trying to get uh, back on Facebook for the past few days. Uh, ating um, regular uh, viewer, Tita Agnes, hello. Hello din to Tita Pri. Uh, at saka hello dyan sa barrio, sa mga uh, kamag-anak natin dyan. Sila JM, sila JJ, si Jibin, and also to uh, um, Mitch if she's there. Okay? At saka welcome sa anak ni Tita Agnes, si Long, uh, who's, who's, who's home from work in the Middle East. So, many welcome natin si Long. Hello. Uh, I think mayroon siyang despedida. <laughs> Bukas yata. So, thank you, Tita Agnes, for making it to the show. 
Okay, so uh, so as I was saying, yung mga cons naman of uh, online tutoring. Yung yung nga, yung yung time mo kailangan maging flexible pa or even you be prepared to be teaching late at night or or pag weekends. Okay? Uh Tapos of course, uh, when you're teaching online, you have to be patient kasi you will be coming across some students who are rude, okay? Uh, and mat matatry ang patience niya talaga to teach online. Uh, uh, okay? Tapos, um, you have to be prepared uh, na ang success mo can mean losing a client, right? Tapos, ano pa? One-on-one -on -one lessons can require different teaching skills. You, know, you have to be creative. Hindi naman kwan yun actually because talaga namang you have to be creative when you're teaching online kasi depende sa sa kliyente mo, depende sa sudyante mo. Sometimes, like ako, ina-adjust ko yung teaching methods ko depending on my student and the profile of my student. So, it's not so much as a con to to require different teaching skills. I don't think it's a con, you know. But it's actually something that you have to do, okay? So, so yun lang, okay? Of course, actually, actually there's more pros than cons in online tutoring, eh? Walang mawawala sa'yo kasi actually everything to gain, you know? A new market, a new career, you know? That's what's good about it, right? Okay, um, okay, so, um, starting a home-based tutoring business, okay? There are several ways to get started, okay, from tutoring from home, okay? It's either, okay, one of two, okay, one of many things. One is to buy a tutoring franchise or business opportunity. Yan yung kung ikaw yung magsaset up ng sarili mo. Of course, the other way to go, like I mentioned ng isang araw, is to belong to our already existing online tutoring business or website, right? Sign up to work as a contractor at one of the many online tutoring companies such as BrainFuse, Chegg, Tutor.com, okay? Or, you know, it's either you sign up and then, you know, pay them the commission or you can start from scratch on your own, okay? If you're ready to start helping students succeed in school, consider some of these steps, okay? Ito yung para sa mga mag-tutor ng, ng, ng yung mga dating face-to-face -face tutoring, di ba, na ginagawa natin para sa mga anak natin, online tutoring naman ngayon. So, if kung ready ka nang maging online tutor to that respect, okay, consider some of these things na sasabihin ko, Okay? Unang una, okay, determine the subjects and educational level na gusto mong turuan. Diba? Common topics where students need help include, of course, math, like sinabi ko kahapon, English and science, from elementary school through high school, okay? Many college students need help in these areas and in subjects specific to their majors. Tapos anong pang kailangan mong gawin? Make a list of potential students or potential market to target. Based on the subject and the level that you want to tutor, di ba? Sino yung mga tao na gusto mong mag-hire sa'yo, okay? Yung anong mga, mga magulang nila. Where will you find them? Anong klase yung mga studyante yung gusto mong makuha, right? Tapos, okay, kailangan mag-decide ka na how you're going to provide your tutoring services. Do you want to tutor only with local students or only online? Diba? Maybe you want to do both things. If you're going to tutor uh, local students online, syempre, yan ang, ang target market mo lang Filipinas. Pero kasi nga itong online tutoring is ano, the world ang sudyante mo. So, basta mag-decide ka kung paano mo pro-provide yung tutoring services mo. Kung welcome sa'yo lahat ng tao, right? Or lahat ng markets. You have to decide. Tapos, siyempre, anong kailangan? You have to gather the tools that you need to provide the tutoring services. Dapat ready na yung laptop mo or desktop mo na may webcam na maganda. Okay, of course, meron ka ng stable internet, uh, connectivity. There are many teacher stores online and off where you can get workbooks, pat pati materials, and other materials to assist you in tutoring. All right? If you plan to be a tutor online, make sure you have a good webcam tsaka magandang audio. Dahil importante yung maintindihan ka ng sudyante mo. Kaya ang connectivity, very, very important. Kasi pagka mababa ang MBPS mo or mahina ang internet mo, diba, choppy ang delivery mo ng lessons at the same time. 
yun, hindi ka masyado na sudyante mo kasi nag-freeze or ganyan. So, importante talaga, number one, is to have a good connection to. Okay? Right? Uh, you might consider using a service, syempre, yung platform mo rin, importante, kung saan ka nagtuturo, kung sa Skype or sa Zoom, or yung may mga apps din, mga class in that you can belong to. Okay? Alright? So, pwede yan. Okay? Tapos, decide on your pricing tsaka policies. Kung ano ka, kung uh, freelance ka, ikaw ang mag, siyempre magpapresya sa sarili mo. Some things to consider on pricing is, kunyari, yung topic na tinuturo mo tsaka yung grade level that you are teaching. Remember, the more advanced the topic is and the grade, the more you can charge for it. Alright? Sandali lang. At medyo, can I just get a sip of uh, water ang init-init na dito sa Pilipinas Asensio, excuse me pardon me alright so uh, <clears throat> so yun nga so uh, you have to have the, the the proper tools to use when you're online when you're teaching online and yun nga decide your pricing tapos Decide, decide nyo yung kung ano yung business structure nyo, okay? You can get started tutoring right away as a sole proprietor, proprietor or freelancer. At the same time, yun nga, pinaka-easy at madaling-madaling magturo na kayo bukas if you, is if you register to these legit uh, tutoring websites and be a part of their team, okay, or a, as an independent contractor. Because most of them do not do not tag you as an employee, dependent contractor ka. Kasi itong mga kumpanya na to, truth be told, lalo na yung mga, yun ang mga companies na Chinese uh, based, ayoko nang i-mention yun kasi hindi ko sila ini-endorse, pero some of them talaga, most of them do not see you as an employee, yung wala kayong kontrata doon, independent contractor to. Like, yun na nga rin, as much as they can include you in their fold, they can also cut terminate yung ganun-ganun lang. Ito mga walang kontrata to na permanent employee ka eh. Pero makakapagturo ka kaagad kasi marami silang sudyante. So, piliin nyo na lang kung saan kayo gusto sumali. Okay? To protect your personal assets, you might consider creating a limited liability company. Iba naman yan, LL, LLC yan. Okay? Okay? Of course, if you want to start your own business uh, as an entrepreneur at gusto mong mag-online tutor, na sayo, okay, you have to create a business name. You can operate your business under your given name or you can create a business name or a, or a combination of both, okay? Siyempre, you need permits and licenses if you are to start your own business. Siyempre, you have to have a business plan outlining all aspects of your business and how you plan to grow it. And also, importante than ever, especially online now, is to map out a marketing plan. A good tutoring marketing plan will include a website, syempre, where people can learn about you, a networking strategy, such as through schools, okay, and syempre, referral system. And of course, social and digital marketing nowadays is very important, all right? So that's what you need to do if you want to set up your own um, tutoring, online tutoring business, okay? Uh, okay, so, um, pero yan na nga, if you want to start tutoring right away ng headache-free, gusto mo lang na hindi ka na kailangan maghanap ng maraming sudyante, dahil meron na sila sudyante, magtuturo ka na lang, okay, yung standard process, okay, is to register as an online tutor in a good online tutoring company, such as the ones that I mentioned, okay? This is a standard process. You will have to fill the online form, providing your credentials, right? Basic bio information nyo, yung resume, CV nyo. Kailangan ka mag-provide ng photo. Saka gusto nila, syempre, yung ang teacher mukhang lively, mukhang energetic, very um presentable, more professional, tapos yung tutoring preferences nyo nakalagay sa profile nyo. Some companies also ask for certifications, but not all, right? Like I said, yung sa ESL teaching, hindi lahat nagre-require ng certifications or degrees. Pero kailangan proof of education, tsaka ID nyo, importante. At, of course, yung video resume ang tinatawag dyan, or 
there's a video greetings. Kailangan lively kayo doon pa. Kasi kasama yan sa pag-interview uh, niya, sa process ng pag-hire niyo as an online tutor. is how you present yourself, right? And of course, if you are teaching ESL, it's your command of the English language, okay? You have to be fluent in English. Although, ang daming mga ESL school, sorry na lang talaga, hiring online tutors, basta marunong lang sila magbasa ng English, right? So, sinasabi ko talaga, if you're going to be an online tutor, be a darn good one and a knowledgeable one at that. Kasi yun na nga, mas magaling kang teacher na talaga, pwede kang mas mag-command ng higher hourly rate. Totoo lang. Alright? Okay? Tapos, um, verification and approval of profile, okay? How to become uh, an online tutor. Verification and approval of profile. The company support team, bine-verify nila siyempre yung uh, yung application na papas, ipapasa nyo. Sila ang nag approve ng profile. Some companies also do a criminal record check, buti naman, of your profile as well. Kasi in the old days na nag-umpisa tong ASL, second language learners, you know, people uh, from other countries that just wanted to get native speaker teachers will just hire any American or any puti na makita nila Kaya si Hodang talagang teacher yan, basta marunong mag-English. That is really sad because that, you know, that really was not uh, such a good thing for me to, to, to swallow. Yung fact na, uh, like even in Vietnam or other countries in the Philippines, they hire Americans. Kaya si Hodang may back, meron yung criminal record or pedophile yan pala. Pero kasi imagine, I think kailangan talaga yung background check mo yung mga teachers, not just because they're Americans, because yun nga, malay mo, pedophile yan sa country niya, whatever. Tapos, tapos papaturuin mo ng mga bata, di ba? Scary. Kasi baka anong gawin yan sa video cam. So, verification and approval of profiles. Dapat importante yan for me for, to, to hire online tutors or teachers. Okay, so once you are, once you pass the verification and approval of profiles, your profile will be made public for the students. Lalagay ka nila sa website nila yung profile. Okay? Ano pa? Get familiar with the online collaboration tools na ginagamit. Yan talaga importante sa online tutoring. In all major online, um, on, on, in all major online tutoring companies kasi, it is the support team that walks through all, walks you through that. Kung meron siya ng support team or technical team, pero yung iba, yung talaga, yung parang dime a dozen kung mag-hire ng teachers, at ng murang sweldo, may wala nang ganyang training technically eh. Makaloka sila. Basta marunong kang bumasa ng English, salpa ka na bukas, pwede ka na mag-turo. Right? Pero yun, murang sweldo ng mga yun. Pero kasi sa mga ibang naghahanap ng trabaho, you know, okay na sa kanila yun. But, uh, but like I said, you know, the better you are in your expertise and field, okay, the higher your rate can go. Right? Okay? So, um, this is a good practice, yung getting familiar with your online collaboration tools. Especially for new to, new tutors who don't have much experience in online teaching. It is advisable in, uh, you know, for tutors na, na, who handle subjects like math and sciences, dapat itong mga nagka-handle ng math at science subjects, dapat meron kayong digital writing pen and pad kasi this will help students understand you better. Pag nakikita nyo, pareho sabay kayong gumagawa ng solution ng formula or going through the pro, uh, the formulas together, nakikita, you can confer with your student and share the screen, right? Okay. So, okay, how to tutor online, all right? Today's online tutoring classrooms kasi have all the tools required, which facilitates the one-on-one -on -one or the one-to-many tutoring sessions. Kasi you, sa session, sa mga sessions nyo online, whether it's face to, um, whether it's one on one or one to many tutoring, which is one between two to five students to a classroom, uh, you can do the following, okay? Start a face to face video conferencing, okay? Uh, ang online classrooms, gantong mangyayari. Gantong, the, itong ways na magtuturo kayo. You start face to face video conference. So, so this is in place of face-to-face, -face, actual face-to-face -face, face -face meeting with the student. This is video conferencing. You speak to each other. Pag, pag ang platform yung magandang, maganda ginagamit, yan, makakapag-video conference kayo. You can speak to each other with high quality and excellent voice. 
depending of, of course on your connectivity which is a stable one para mandinig nyo ng klaro yung pinapag-usapan nyo. Write, type, erase and draw in distinctive colors. Ito yung magandang platform, nakaka-drawing kayo, okay? You can also text chat and also message each other via instant messaging or in the chat boxes, okay? And because of ang mga platform that if your classrooms or virtual classrooms or platforms have all those those tools working for them, you can also effectively upload and share files. Ang kaganda sa online tutoring on these kinds of platforms, pwede nyo i-save yung lesson, pwede nyo i-record yung lesson nyo para pareho kayo, yung student at teacher, pwede nyo i-review at i-repasa yung pinag-usapan nyo. And this also protects you from yung mga complaints ng studyante na binigyan kayo ng bad rating, right? Itong proof. You can dispute certain claims, okay? Of course, up, after alter message pro progressively and with other persons seeing what you're doing. This is the share screen uh, uh, component, no? Pwede kayo kasi makita nyo yung ginagawa ng isa't isa, okay? And because of this, you can access the session from all devices that uh, na nakasync dito, okay? So, paano kayo makaka-attract ng mga studyante? Like I said, if you belong to these online websites na hindi na kailangan i-market yung sarili nyo kasi kasama na kayo sa pagmamarket nila. Pero kung kayo nag-set up ng sarili yung business, how do you attract more students? It's to constant, constantly, okay, whether you're uh, belonging to an online web, website or on your own, how how you attract students is, of course, gandahan nyo yung profile nyo, profile picture, whatever, pero huwag naman kayo masyadong maglagay ng fake news na uh, 20-year-old picture na yung lalagay nyo doon. Tapos minsan, pag pumuntay sa dyante, mabubulagan at umugulat sila. Is this the same person that is on the profile pic? Huwag naman yung ganun. Okay? Update your profile. Okay? Consider what your potential clients wants to hear from you. Include a video message in your profile with a lively message and of course, um, a meaningful message to them. This adds more value, okay, than a simple and basic content profile. Okay? Tapos, you know, ask your students to give you ratings and reviews or ask for their opinion. When you're, when you're teaching, kamustahin nyo yung teaching method nyo. Lagi nyo rin silang tatanangin. Kasi iba-iba kasi rin ang mga uh, attitudes and um, profile ng estudyante from different parts of the world. Iba-iba rin ang uh, kanilang mga demeanor. Be, be, be mindful and be sensitive to how your students are, okay? Uh, Ratings and reviews should be apparent on your tutoring profile. Most ideal way would be to ask your students to rate you or as, as you assess them at saka yung learning nila, tanong nyo rin sa kanila, kamustahin nyo rin sila kung what they think of your teaching, okay? The more and better reviews and ratings you have, the better are your chances to appear on the first page of your mga ganyang profile, alright? At saka yun na nga, magiging repeat ang sila, customers, repeat clients, repeat students, okay? Tapos, availability is a big issue for most students. Eh, yeah, sa mga ibang website, pag top teacher ka, ang hirap nila ikaw makuha. Unless they are book lessons. There are such things as book lessons, like especially on ESL platforms, uh, wherein the student really wants you to be the teacher and books your time. Pag ganun, mas mahal ang bayad na. Okay? Okay? Always respond to the session requests. Okay? In case you receive message from any inquiring student, Okay? Uh, huwag nyo silang iba, iba, liwala. Kaagad nyo sagutin. Okay, sabihin or, and give your availability. Okay? So, um, so yan. Yan ang mga, mga tips on how to, to start as an online tutor. Okay? I have given you an overview. I have given you information regarding the online tutoring uh, career. Okay? Or work that you can do. Okay? I, uh, we have talked about how to become an online tutor. And then, sinabi rin natin, what does it take? Okay, we pass ulit. Okay, if you want, if you are thinking of being an online tutor, what do you have on a classic mindset? Okay, una una, determine your requirements. Okay, sinabi na natin yung mga requirements, yung mga hardware, software. Know your audience, number two. Okay, choose your subject, topic, or expertise, or course that you want to teach. Okay, tapos, yun na nga, choose a course pattern. 
yung strategy nyo kung paano nyo i-deliver itong expertise na to at knowledge. Set a course model. Okay. Tapos, of course, you know, choose an online platform to sell your courses, whether you want it to do it freelance or by yourself, or belong to these, to mga nakalista dito, na sinabi ko na companies, check, preply, right? Tutor me, why is that? Okay? That's your platform. And of course, also, platform meaning Skype or Zoom or class in or whatever uh, software or hardware you need. Okay? Tapos, choose an online platform nga, and then manage your courses, okay? Always update, always be up to par, or be creative about your courses, okay? And then, of course, lastly, which is really, really important, is market your e-learning platform. Market yourself, market your the, what you're offering, okay? All right? So that, in a nutshell, of course, is what it takes and what, it need, what we need to be an online tutor. This has been the subject that we've been talking about for the past week, and I hope I was able to impart good knowledge to everyone. Uh, of course, weekend na naman. Of course, sa akin, walang diferensya. Weekend or weekday, pare-pareho lang. Because I work and <laughs> play from home. Right? But God is good, and I thank so, God so much for the opportunities to be able to, to speak to you today and, of course, do my work. And share what I know. Maraming maraming salamat sa Broadstream Cast Communicators Inc. for uh, allowing me to be a part of their team of esteemed broadcasters. So, of course, Monday to Friday po tayo dito sa Broadstream Cast Communicators. And we are now on YouTube. Uh, for those who want to watch uh, late episodes of our shows, uh, naka Pagkatapos na pagkatapos nitong live stream, we are transferred to YouTube. So, so pwede nating balikan. Uh, very good. Thank you so much for joining me. Yes, Delia, salamat. I hope to see you again uh, sa Monday or basta anytime, of course, na alam mong nandito kami. Salamat sa inyong, inyong, pat, uh, inyong patronage. Okay? Thank you, Delia. Thank you, Jeannie. Thank you, Jake. Thank you, Tita Agnes. Thank you, the Laka family. Thank you to my Bautista family that I miss and love so much. And of course, of course, thank you at sa aking anak na si Kiani, at sa aking partner and soon-to-be hubby, Jenny. Salamat sa support. Ha. Thank you very much. This has been Jay Bautista doing Buhay Online and talking to you about online tutoring for this week. Okay, It can be something that can be very lucrative and very, very uh, the good source of income po, ang online tutoring. So uh, with this, I'd like to end today's program at maraming salamat po. And like I always say, please keep the faith, hope, and uh, and love alive in your hearts. At uh, walang huwag tayong mawala ng pag-asa. Strict protocols na naman tayo, safety protocols, because of the surge of infections. Pero please, ingat-ingat lang and be safe, everyone. Uh, happy weekend. Happy Friday. And I hope you you have a safe weekend ahead of you. At, ma at masarap ang lunch nyo today. <laughs> Ayan, narinig ko na yung palanggana. <laughs> Oops! Uh, thank you very much for joining me. At magsama-sama po tayo ulit sa Monday, okay? Thank you very much. Have a good day. At uh, susunod po na program ang Ratsada with Double J. Uh, ang antayin niyo po. At uh, please uh, support niyo po lahat ng mga programa namin dito sa Broadstream Gas Communicators. Thank you so much. And have a good day, everyone. Happy Friday! <laughs> Inyong natuhayan at napakinggan ang mga makabagong pamamaraan sa mundo ng online sa pamamagitan pa rin ng Broadstream Cast Communicators. Hanggang sa muli, maraming salamat po. <laughs>